everyone, welcome to part two of me doing my own nails. So this is the part basically after I've finished prepping and removing my acrylics. I'm just doing my natural nails with, as you can see, rubber up, give me strength and then a nice colour and I'm going to do some foil stamping with Moira's foil stamping gel. Um, so I'm just going in here with a generous layer of rubber up. This is one of the best things about this base coat. It's very different to all about the base because you can use it quite thick. You don't have to really scrub it into the nail like you can use quite a generous amount of it which i really really like um so i'm just popping a layer of that on first and then i will go in with two coats of give me strength i do do pretty much two coats of coats of everything i use in this video but i don't show you two coats for everything just because i don't want to be looking like i'm teaching you to suck eggs like you can see that i'm painting my nails i don't have to watch me do it loads and loads of times so i'm just going to finish off now just doing it rubber up making sure that at the very end i'm taking off as much off my brush as i can and then capping the free edge of all five nails this one here my little finger is not looking so good you all know that already if you've seen the soak off video but yeah it's not it's not great <laughs> i'm just gonna wait for that to grow out i would say patiently wait but i'm not patient so that would be a lie. So I'm just popping some on my thumb. This rubber base coat is absolutely brilliant. It's perfect for my type of nails because mine are very, very weak and they do bend and they're just rubbish. And it is my own fault. <laughs> I've always said do as I say, not as I do because, oh my God, I am not kind to my own nails. But as you can see here, I'm just making sure that I'm really capping that free edge. It's an awkward angle because I was looking kind of under my phone to be able to do it so it's not great <laughs> apologies for that and then for this one because it's so short instead of trying to cap it the same way as we do the others i just go backwards on the nail and then just make sure that there isn't any left on the skin remove that if necessary as you can see here so i'm just going in with give me strength which is a structure gel i'm just popping a coat of that on i did do two coats of this but i only showed one um just because i applied the second coat the exact same way as i applied the first so i didn't think you'd want to watch me do it again I'm now going in with my colour which is all about Mimi, I absolutely love it, it's such a nice rich colour. So I always usually paint about three quarters of the nails or two thirds however you want to look at it um, and then I know that there's enough on my brush, like I don't have to worry about painting the rest because obviously if you put loads and loads on your brush and then you go straight to the cuticle area that's when it ends up flooding and yeah you just come into a lot of problems so I always start off with the ends doesn't matter how much is on my brush that way and then remove all the excess and then go back in with hardly anything on my brush to do the cuticle area because I know that I don't need enough on it to pull down to the free edge and then once I've done that on all five nails I'll do the same again with the capping I will make sure there is hardly anything on my brush so I don't have a little pull at the tip and making my free edge look really thick and then I will cap that way I obviously also did two coats of colour on the nails as well, but I only show you me painting one because, again, it's not really that exciting to watch. So, yeah, there is two coats of colour on there. I did quite well with painting them until this nail got it everywhere. But it cleaned up pretty easily, so it's fine.
So I'm just making sure that I remove the tacky layer from the gel polish with prep and dehydrate. I'm not using cleanser because that will create my nail to be quite oily and then obviously I don't want to top coat that and encapsulate that into my nail. So I'm just going in here with the black foil stamping gel from Moira, making sure that I get off any bits that I don't want. I did actually change my mind about this design in the end, but it looked nice anyway. It just wasn't what I wanted. So I've popped that on. I'm now going to cure that for 60 seconds and then I'm going to use foil Lilian from Magpie and just dab that onto on top of the foil gel and then as you can see it's full cover it looks amazing it's really difficult to capture because the light is right above me but it looked really really good I loved the effect I just didn't like the leaf it looked too bare like just on its own and my other hand which I'll show you in a second has got this design on which I actually really like I just don't like that it's white so I decided to try that on my ring finger and I ended up loving it it looked much better in the gold than it did in white so I ended up putting that on my ring finger removing the leaf from my middle finger and then adding that as well but I didn't show that on camera just because I just did the same thing over again removed all the excess popped it under the lamp for a minute and then come back out again and popped on my foil I'm curing this in the magpie lamp, in the new style magpie lamp, and it's curing fine after 60 seconds. It works every time. It's brilliant. And then once I've done that, I will go in and change that middle nail off camera, and then I'll go in and top coat them. And then there's not really a lot left, to be fair. So I just, I think I show you quite a lot just like this, just keep showing you in different angles because it's hard to capture. Um, I am using like a diamond top coat which is brilliant, it's so shiny. So I top coated all the glittery nails, well the ones with Galaxy on, um, I top coated those once, made sure to cap, and then the stamped nails I top coated with this top coat twice. You can with this top coat because it has got a tacky layer so it is possible to double top coat. Obviously if I was using Do Don't Be Tacky then it would be impossible so I would use a top coat like shine bright or like a diamond and then don't be tacky on top but this time I just used two coats of like a diamond um, and then at the very end I show you me just really 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 gently giving my nails a quick file just to make sure they're all in shape um, I don't know why I do it I only do it with my own nails but I just always have the urge to just file them again and I don't know why um, but yeah, don't file them enough to break the seal between all of the gel. I don't really... The file that I use for my own nails is quite old now. and It doesn't really have a lot of grit left. So it works absolutely fine for that. Just a quick buff. And then I'll go over with cleanser. Wipe off all the tacky layer. And that's that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and yeah, I'll be back soon with the next video. Which I think is going to be a haul of a mixture of different items. So I hope you can join me for that. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell and I'll be back soon. Bye.